All right, YouTube, what's going on? I'm trying out a new microphone setup, so let me know how this is as far as audio is concerned. It's like a wireless uh, lapel mic or lavalier or whatever they're called. So also doing a front facing view. I don't do these ever. Um, I usually just have, you know, camera down, but I decided to give it a, a shot and just, you know, show what's, do it, try something different. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And today we're just, it's a basic video, of just talking on a couple of new knives I got in and just kind of some overviews of those knives and some upcoming reviews I'll be doing. So uh, let's say, I guess, go in order. Uh, first one I got in recently, oh, this is all flipped around backwards, kind of funky, uh, is the Hinder Fire Attack. This is the new Triway Pivot uh, recurve. It doesn't have as bad of a recurve as I've seen on many other blades. It's a slight recurve, I would say. Um, so I don't love recurve knives just because of the sharpening. Yeah, everything's all backwards. Why is it doing that? I don't know if I like this. This format's strange. I have to like hold everything this way. That's backwards in my mind. But anyway, <laughs> I'm trying it out. So let me know your guys' thoughts. If you like this format, if you like the tabletop uh, down format, mix it up, do both. Anyway, the fire tack is fantastic though. Super good ergos. Um, it's a pretty large knife, guys, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit bigger than I normally carry. But, you know, you compare it next to the XM18 right here, and you have these two side by side. Uh, see, I don't, I don't love this format because you can't lay them side by side. You kind of just hold them in the air. But they're about the same size. I would say the FireTech actually has a little less handle. If I was to lay these flat, uh, pivot to pivot, the FireTech Let's go pivot to pivot there. Here we go. There's a good... I mean, they're about the same. It's very, very minimal. The XM may have a little bit longer handle. Um, the XM is quite a bit thicker, though. If you look at the thickness side by side, you can see how much thinner that the FireTech is. So it's a slim, um, good size EDC folder. Weight-wise, I do have my scale here. How convenient. One thing I don't like about this form is you can't see what I'm weighing, but whatever. Uh, 4.1 ounces versus an XM, I think is, yeah, 5.3. So pretty significant difference in weight too. So could be the best hinder there is. Uh, I've been waiting for the triway. I had a, one of the Teflon ones that they brought, he brought back out a few years ago because this was his original des uh, design. And I had one of those and I liked it. It was on Teflon washers and I think it was a Spanto blade. I don't love the Spanto blade shape. So I ended up selling it. Um, I've been on wanting to get another one. And so when they came out the triway, I was stoked. Now I have it on bearings that came just with what it came on and it's super smooth. I mean, like you can middle finger flick it. The detent's a little stiff on mine to do that. It kind of gets, uh, wears on your thumb, your finger, your index finger to do that. So it's easier to use your thumb, but you can, it's possible. And if yours has a softer detent, I do plan on changing out. Oh, it's a working finish. I should say that. Um, working finish on the blade there or on the locking the lock the frame lock god and on the blade working finish isn't my favorite but this was like one of the one last ones that the usa made blade had so i grabbed it and i'm going to switch out. i already have a scale on the way it was supposed to be here today but it's late shocker with the postal service these days um it's a micarta scale it's not a factory one it's made by rc blade works it's gonna look sick so really digging the fire attack and expect a full review on that um, I also got in the Fair and Forge Stinger. I've been actually carrying this one a lot today. It's a very lightweight uh, EDC. I mean, I think it weighs, you know, two and a half ounces, 2.6 ounces. So that's not bad. Um, it's got a great blade shape that I really like. And it's slim, very slim knife. So when I do my full review on this, I'll go over all the specs. I'm not gonna do it right now. I've had to take this knife apart twice though to fix the action finally i've got it i think dialed in where it's not gritty it was so gritty like and one thing i don't love about chinese made knives is they come just freaking packed full of grease and grime and i don't know why they oil the heck out of these so bad like i don't get it it drives me nuts because you literally have to disassemble these when you get them and take them apart and clean them because they're so bad worse on these are the Wii Civivi. i think we I'm 90% sure we makes these for Fair and Forge. Um, so, but they just come just loaded with crap on them. So I had to take it apart and I even did it twice. You, there is a fuller on the blade. You can see there. 
And this knife's been out a little while. I'm a little late to the party on this one, guys. And I'm not a left-handed person. This is all flip, though. It's it's freaking me out. I am right-handed. It is it is for right-handed tip-up carry is the way it's set right now. This is the plain black G10. Um, do love the blade shape. Nitro V Steel, which I've had on one other knife, the Master Up Perpetua, I believe what it was called. Um, but I like the size. It's a really good size. It's really thin and light, and it has that nice choil. I love finger choils. If you haven't noticed, on a lot of the knives I have, there's finger choils. Um, I mean, the actually this one ha doesn't have one. My <laughs> one I pick up, um, like the Strider SMG. This is the Mando version. If you haven't seen that, yeah, that one's awesome. Um, paid a pretty penny for that, but I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so worth it. But I also got this one. It's a good segue. This is a um, Field Duty EDC by Liang Ma. Uh, the Field Duty's been on a little while. This is a smaller version that I've always wanted to make. And it's, it uses a model uh, block design uh, for the G10 like Strider does. This, and this happens to be aluminum, but same idea, right? So he even mentions that in his design that he, you know, it's like a Strider. So it also has a very Strider-esque blade shape. And that, that forward choil is very similar to the SNG. As you can see here, side by side, I mean, look at that. That's like a smaller SNG. It's like a PT, between a PT and an SNG. The PT's always been a little small. This is like the perfect size. So this knife is super underrated. I don't get why more people aren't talking about it. It's made by Riot, so it's high, high quality frame lock. Um, just the perfect size. It feels so good in the hand, like any grip you put it in. It feels excellent and you, I mean, there is no, there's no grip it doesn't feel good in. It's got, it's got that neutral handle design and it's also got this nice choil to choke up. Um, so big, huge fan of this knife so far. I've only had it two days and it's been in my pocket. I used it quite a bit. I broke down tons of cardboard today. We're getting ready to list our house and um, we have tons of crap to get, just move and throw away. So I had tons of boxes to go through. So, um, yeah, loving this one. This one's super underrated. Like I don't, and I say that because no one's really talking about it. There's not a lot of content on it out there. It is very smooth. It's on bearings. It doesn't drop shut um, at all, which is kind of weird. You kind of have to shake it. But then I, I think it's it's like a strider. Like these don't really. Okay, this is on. Yeah, but see, it doesn't really drop shut. Like you have to kind of shake it. It's a very similar action. You know, it's on bearings. You would think it's on washers. It's on bearings, but it's super snappy to deploy. Like the the detent is perfect for the middle finger flick so i love this one this one is i'm so glad sharp dad thank you again buddy patrick uh sharp dad 33 on youtube and i think that's his insta handle i can't get on my phone it's in front of me um he turned me i mean he was telling me you got to get one of these and I, i'd wanted one for a while but never pulled the trigger found one a good deal on ebay of all places because they couldn't find them for sale anywhere but leon moss site um but yeah more, more to come on that knife as well. So those three are this week's... Oh, and I got a, I forgot to grab it. I got a small Sabenza 31 too. Um, I don't know that I'll do a review on that. I might. It might be long term. I've reviewed a lot of Sabenzas on this channel. 31 is slightly different, but I'm not sure it's worth... We'll see. If you guys want to see it, I'd, be, I'd do a video on it. The It's a natural my card, a small 31. It's a beautiful knife. I should have brought it up here with it, but I had a whole stack full of knives, but... Um, yeah, the Stinger, unfortunately, you can't get this one. Anyway, see, I've gotten the, I've got the action pretty dialed in now, where it's pretty good. You can use this, this, uh, fuller to open the knife. You can middle finger flick it like so, and you can, um, you can get your thumb in there, but the middle finger, hey, there it goes. The middle finger is, is easier to do, and then there's obviously a flipper tab. So for 80 bucks, is, I mean, I think that's what these went for. Good deal. Um, I would say, like I said, the action wasn't great out of the box. Um, especially compared to this other Sabibi that I just got the pintail. This thing has like perfect action out of the box. It's, um, it's not drop shut, but it's, it was never gritty. This one was really gritty. So anyways, guys, just trying a new format, 10 minute video that I've been rambling about. So let me know your thoughts. If you like this format, if you like seeing my face, um, instead of just seeing my hands and maybe I'll mix it up and do every other video or I don't know, something like that, but lots of good stuff coming on the channel. Likewise. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.